All right, so I'm Todd Costello. Um, I was having a hard time trying to figure out what I want to do for a lightning talk, and so I decided to do a bit of a groovy slash swing slash Google Maps slash YQL mashup, and just go through this little process. Um, it's some code that I wrote this afternoon, and um, I felt a little bit bad because we didn't, the, the, the groovy guys didn't really have much to present on zero one, or on, sorry, on day zero. Um, and that was likely because we just were just finding our way through Grails. So this is maybe a little bit to kind of compensate for that. So, um, so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and um, what kind of st struck me was that when I was reading, um, so this is the roundup page for the flight information, and as folks were adding their uh, entries on here, um, I thought it was pretty cool to see kind of where folks were coming from, but I didn't have any clue where some of these airports were. So I thought, okay, well maybe what I'll do is I'll just write a little app that maybe we'll just kind of parse this data and then mash it up with Google Maps so that I can see where folks are coming from. So that's kind of was the impetus behind this, this little this little app here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fire this up. <clears throat> so what this is is a little uh, swing app that down at the bottom here is a Google map. This actually is um, so Josh Marinacci um, who's really active in the JavaFX world and swing world uh, wrote a Swing Labs project a couple years ago that essentially is a swing layer on top of uh, Google Maps. So that's what this is here. So on the top is a simple table of um, just participants. And if I go and hit this refresh button, I've got a little uh, status here that's going and looking up airports. And if I'm moving around here, <coughs> things are good. All right, so what I can do is if I zoom out, I see. Uh, essentially all of the airports that um, folks that were coming into the Java Quasi and were on this page, this is where they're coming from. Okay, so let's have a look at a little bit of code. So that, that whole thing is 87 lines of code and that includes all this hard-coded setup data here. So what I've got here is a class that's got uh, just a name, last name, email, origin, and a little override of two string. There's uh, no getters, no setters, no constructors, none of that sort of business. So if you haven't seen a lot of Groovy, this is a fairly typical idiom. You'll uh, notice I've got an overridden two-string method that's got some embedded uh, properties in it. This is referred to as a g-string, and um, <laughs> you can take that to let's um, So what I do is I build up my data here from uh, that I've just hard-coded. So I've got a new array list that is typed. And uh, I'm actually adding, uh, using the, this, uh, essentially this shortcut key to do a, an add to the list with the constructor. So we've got uh, named arguments for the, uh, the, the properties that are essentially getting um, passed into the construction of the object. Okay, so the, the swing builder part basically is using um, a builder pattern, which is pretty common in the, in the Ruby world. Uh, so what this actually is, is this is a hierarchical view of building up uh, a swing representation. If anybody's done swing, to do this from scratch is probably uh, I don't know, three, four, five times the amount of code that I'm doing here. So building a frame, setting a border layout, with some, so I'm adding a panel to the frame with the constraints of north, uh, I add a box layout with a, another panel that's got my refresh button on it. Then I've got an action form. I'm going to get back to that in a second. I've got the label, which is that status that you saw when I was updating the airports. And then um, the, we've got a table that had listed all the, uh, the participants with a table model that basically just takes the column headings and the property names here. Um, at the bottom is the actual map, which is essentially just the uh, same, same idiom uh, the only minor interesting thing here is that there's a widget object that actually wraps any other kind of custom swing component. So it's uh, this JX map kit, which is in the in this in the you know, uh, Sunlabs project. So the other interesting thing here is that this is a, this closure is executed when the refresh button is hit. Um, it actually executes in a outs in a thread, which is this do outside, uh, and grabs the um, YQL, um, which thanks to Ito last night, which is, it takes the origin, comes back with an XML resu uh, result set, and then it parses that result set and displays 
<laughs> Peter, yeah. Let's check out.